Felton here and welcome back to another video where today we are doing episode 3 of Aqua Dragons, the Aqua, Aqua Dragon series. Now, uh, as you know, I skipped yesterday's episode because obviously nothing interesting happened. I just fed them. So no, I didn't feed them. Today I'm going to feed them in the video because last, if the instruction manual said to feed them two to three days if you have hundreds and four to five days if you only have a few. What I'm going to show you today is that I have hundreds, like a lot, a hell of a lot more than I had in the uh, second episode. So yeah, I'm going to be feeding them today. Didn't feed them yesterday. Alright, I'll remove the books again. Alright. Quickly give you a little look. But yeah, you can see them down there. There's a lot of them down there. Try and focus it a bit more. There you go. Yeah, they, now you can see them a bit better. See, there's a ton of them down there. Uh, there should be some around the surface. Hmm, not, not sure about the surface. There usually is. Uh, yeah, I can't really see any around the surface right now. Could be just the camera. Not sure, but there's definitely, as you saw, there's definitely a lot down here. So yeah, a lot hatched. A lot more than I expected. Which is good. Oh yeah, you can see some around there. There you go. Yeah, a lot more hatched than I expected. And I'm gonna feed them. Feed them now. Books. Alright. Got my feeding packet. I put a clip over it so it doesn't spill everywhere. Because, by the way, the food that I feed them is algae. That's what they eat. And, obviously, they only need a spoonful of it. And I'm going to need to give it to them every two days because of how many they've got. Alright. Okay. Spoonful. There you go. That's one spoonful. And I'll quickly fill them fill up to the surface. Because they should be pretty hungry, there's a lot of them. Really not. Jeez, there's a lot of them. They should slowly come up to the surface. Yep, here we go. You can see them coming up. Uh, look at them all. I'm pretty sure this, um, there's a lot of other ones on the other side. Although, yeah, they're hard to see in the camera. These are the easiest ones to see. Draw swimming up to the surface. So yeah, they're bas basically, that's why I'm telling the video that I've hacked hundreds of them. If you're wondering what the point of the video is, it's not, it's not just to feed them again. So yeah, I'm also thinking of, once these things get two months old, I'm not entirely sure if I'll be able to get them to two months old. But I'm just thinking, if I do get them that old, I'm going to have to buy a bigger tank. Because they do grow up to 2 centimeters long. Which, compared to this, is pretty massive. So yeah, I'm going to have to... I was thinking of my, maybe buying a large pickle jar and then eating the pickles, cleaning cleaning the inside of the jar out. And using that as a tank. I was thinking that might work. Or... Possibly, possibly, if that doesn't work, I might have to buy like a small tank. Yeah, uh, I'll do that. I'll do that once um they get to two months old if they do. Anyway, uh yeah, I'll update you. Update you next time. Next time they grow some more. The next stage they grow some more is the teen stage, so they will start to shed their spines. And once they shed their spines, 
they, yeah, they're officially teens, and I'll know they're shedding their spider if they start shaking around a lot. And I'll update you when they become teenagers. Well, alright, bye.